Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. My name is Chris Murdoch. On this episode of Race Face Spotlight, we have a North Carolina native on, uh, on the show with us this week in the studio, Race Face driver Connor Mosack. Connor, how are you doing? Doing great. Well, just so we can introduce you to our Race Face audience, because you're part of the Race Face class of 2019. So we give everybody your background. Where did you come from? How did you start in racing? So I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, about three years ago, I did a racing experience, uh, actually the Mario Andretti racing experience at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and I just kind of fell in love with it from there and got into legend cars, and I've done that the last two years and uh, started running late models this year. And let's talk about your legends car experience, because I think that's where I first saw you racing was at Legend Cars running at Concord and then at Charlotte Motor Speedway there for the shootout. What was that like? What were you able to take away from that experience and, and take with you? Well, you know, it was, for me, it was a really tough learning experience just because I had never driven any, any race car before at all. Um, so that first year was pretty rough and didn't have the best equipment uh, by any means. So just learning how to drive in that kind of car, I think, was really beneficial to me when I did get in a good car. Um, I think it taught me how to drive better, and um, so once I got with Dennis, you know, we started winning some races and had a good year, and then I think, you know, the biggest thing from Legend Cars to, to late models for me is, you know, it really taught me car control, and um, there's a lot of things that, you know, you got to learn in late models too, um, but just, you know, just how to race, and, and a lot of it will carry over. And now, this year, you've made the jump to late models, running the, the majority of the season at Hickory and then bouncing back and forth between a, a few other local tracks throughout the season. What was it like sort of making that transition from legend cars to late models? Initially, it was pretty, I, I was very different. For, so for me, initially, it was, it was pretty tough. Um, definitely about, about the start of the racing season, I was getting more comfortable in the car and then just learning how to race with these guys uh, that have so much experience in the late models. It's, you know, it's different. In the Legend Cars, everybody's kind of around your same experience level, you know, because most people are only in late Legend Cars for like two or three years. Uh, the late models, people have been doing it for 15, 20 years, especially at Hickory. People have been mm -hmm. running there a long time. So just learning how to drive with those guys, learning who you're racing with, uh, and just getting used to that. Um, and also, you know, the new team, new crew chief, learning how to work together with them. And I think when you're, when you're racing at Hickory, from the races I've seen, it's a really, really rough, rough track. It's bumpy. Uh, the corners are different. You know, what is it like going through Hickory and running out that track? It's pretty tough. I mean, it's uh, I've only run two other tracks, and uh, Hickory is definitely, I think, the toughest. I've heard from a lot of people that you know, even the really good guys like someone like Lee Pulling or something, they struggled the first couple times there. So it's definitely a place you have to run several times to really learn. Um, and I think I'm I'm finally getting there, but. It's definitely, you know, turns one and two aren't too bad, but you just, if you're off the bottom at all, you really you don't have any run down the back stretch. And three and four is really tough to figure out, um, especially when you're all, you can't roll too fast. That's the biggest thing that I've really noticed is in lighting cars, you just want to roll the center as fast as you can, and you can kind of just roll back in the gas. In late models, sometimes it's better to slow it down in the center to get it pointed more and get it, uh, you know, get a better run down the straightaway. So. How difficult was it for you to get out of that legend car mindset? Because I've heard from drivers, especially at Charlotte Motor Speedway and the legend cars, you're kind of just driving straight in and mm -hmm. braking and turning. And now sort of with the late models at some of these tracks, you're sort of getting that arc in the corner and going. So how difficult was it to, you know, flip your switch being so new to racing? I think when I first did it, you know, I was trying to just apply everything I, I knew from legend cars and it wasn't really working. But um, after, you know, doing testing a couple times, I, you know, I just kind of try to forget everything I had, uh, you know, how I drive legend cars and try to just completely relearn how to drive basically. And I just think that seemed to help me pick it up a little bit faster. And then as I've gotten more comfortable, I'm able to kind of bring back those things that I learned in legend cars. And, um, you know, I've gone, I've raced the legend car only one time since I started racing late models. And it actually, for me, was tougher getting back in the legend than it was mm -hmm. getting back in the late model after that. Um, but so, yeah. yeah I, think, I think it's sort of interesting, your story, in a sort of way, because for your age, you're still sort of new to the whole racing mm -hmm. scene. You're just now in your first sort of season of late models, but you've learned pretty quickly. I mean, this past weekend at Hickory, you knocked off some 
uh, top tens, even got a top five in one of the late model races, and you've been able to pick up on the Legends car really fast. What do you sort of attribute that to? Is it the, the people that are around you, your team that you get to work with that makes it click so well? Yeah, I definitely think, um, you know, that first year in Legends, I didn't really have a good, like, coach or anything. I was kind of, felt like I was on my own figuring everything out. So when I got with someone like Dennis, who really knows what he's doing, he was able to kind of, you know, teach me a couple of things. And then after having that year of experience of not knowing what I was doing, I was able to really fine tune that. And that's what made us, you know, be, get fast, you know, quickly. And um, in the late model, I think Dexter's really good at, teaching new people and so uh, I think he's definitely a, a key part in, in being able to pick that up. And now let's talk about the future because like I said you're still sort of new to racing in your first season of late models. Where do you see your yourself in a couple of years? Where do you want to end up? I mean the end goal for me would be the Cup Series. Um, you know I'm not in a huge rush to get there. I know I'd rather take my time especially in late models. I know there's a lot to learn there. I don't want to move up too quickly and, and miss out on some things that I will need later on. So I'm definitely willing to take my time uh, getting there. Um, so hopefully uh, next year, I think, run some cars tour races, um, maybe hopefully at the end of the year, maybe k and or ARCA or something like that, uh, and just see where it goes from there. But end goal is definitely uh, at the top. Where can people sort of keep up with what you're doing? Where can they find you on social media? Uh, so any social media, I'm at Connor Mozak 18 uh, it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and ConnorMozakRacing.com as well. Well, Connor, I do want to thank you for sort of taking a, a few minutes out of your day to sit down and talk with us and, and let us get to know you a bit. It's been fun, so uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. And that has been this episode of Race Face Spotlight. If you've missed any of our episodes, you can always catch up by going to RaceFace.tv On Demand. I'm Chris Murdoch. Thanks for watching.